Hello ladies and gents, it's Spoony Pizzas here with another best formation and tactical video for Monaco. So let's kick things off. So I'm playing on Superstar as you can see here. And the game plan is a 4-5-1 formation or 4-3-2-1, depending how you look at it. Um, attacking instructions, care attack, short pass, wide attack and air, flexible positioning. Um, actually, I'm going to maintain formation, sorry. It's supposed to be maintain formation. Seven for support range. Defensive instructions, front line pressure, wide aggressive. Uh, seven for defensive line, five for compactness. Hug the touch line, false fullbacks, and deep defensive line. So with the hug the touch line and false fullbacks, what we're trying to do is pack that midfield area to um, put another five in there uh, with the right back and left back, whilst the midfielders, your left midfielder and right midfielder are holding the wings. And that's why we've gone for that attack, uh, seven for support range. So it's, you can have a nice spread across the pitch. You can have um, plenty of numbers in midfield. The reason I went for um, this guy here in defensive midfield is because he's got good ball winning stats, defensive prowess. He's got better speed and explosive power than the other two uh, options. Plus, he's also um, got, uh, what is his height? Uh, 186. He's actually the tallest. Just slightly, just of the, the, the three that I would put in there. And he's also got the uh, anchor man role, as you can see there. So he's going to sit and protect that defense. Um, the other option would be to drop him and bring in Naldo. Um, my only concern is with the defensive line being quite high, um, Naldo would probably struggle to get back in. He's not the quickest, but nor is Glick. Um, so there is going to be a bit of an issue uh, chasing back. But hopefully Jemison with his pace, can more than make up for it, as well as Sidibe and Balo. Okay, so, going for Falco. Um, I think Jovetic is probably a better option if you want to build the player, uh, play him uh, as an SS, um, and build the play a bit more slowly instead of counter-attack. But with the counter-attack, well, what we're going to do, what you're going to see is these uh, Fabregas and Golovin, Gelson Martins and Ronnie Lopez bomb forward very, very quickly um, and support Falcao. Falcao's going to rely on service. He's not really a player to run past players or anything like that. So you're just going to have to um, try and feed him from the wings. Good crosses, especially with the delivery um, and ability of uh, Ronnie Lopez on one wing. And then Gelson Martins, he's got loads of tricks, loads of speed. Um, and we'll look to uh, basically try to utilize them as best we can to provide service for Falcao so here we are up against uh, PSG like I said it's on superstar level a bit rusty but uh, you know I've only just got back from holiday so it should be uh, interesting here's the speed that I was talking about oh it's nice oh I can't believe he didn't put that way <laughs> That will take the throat. Says Fabregas. Cow. Oh, it's got a free kick. Oh. Elbow to the face. Yeah, yellow card as well. Oh, it's Verratti. Well, I think the alternative was the standard. That's Kamembe. Right sort of uh, complaining. So, yeah, Fabregas. Let me just check his swerving stats before I take this. So, 82 for swerve. So, it's quite a lot, but uh, we are pretty close to goal. That's a goal. There we go. <laughs> Bosh. Straight out of my uh, free kick tutorial. If you've not, uh, not seen that, I recommend checking it out. That's why I knew it was a goal from the minute it left his foot. Before I left his foot. <laughs> Once the power is right. Yeah, you are going to rely on Jemison actually getting back and covering. Because the other defenders aren't the quickest. This is good running here. Oh. Let's go watch Mbappe here. Now, if you see that there, that was really good defending. Some good, really good defending there. 
Uh, if you watch it back, you'll notice that I saw him making the run. And we all know how fast Mbappe is. Uh, so it's just a case of um, put my body in between him and the ball. So really good stuff. I'll be doing my live training and showing you things like that with the replays. Oh! Just over. Okay, some really good chances here. Getting into good areas. Great header. Oh, God, that would have been beautiful if he just dropped in at that far post. You can see with the uh, the five in midfield, plus the false fullbacks, it's making it very difficult for uh, PSG to, even with their... Um, Oh, that's poor. Um, even with their attacking uh, strategy now, which is where you usually find the AI really ramps up, really struggling to uh, get get much play going. That was great defending again. Track the man. He ran from deep. If you watch this, uh, probably not the best angle to see it from, but you'll see Danny Alves running. Certainly not, but you can see the hours right next to him with that defensive midfielder. He's really pivotal for uh, snuffing out attacks. He's really strong, got good defensive prowess. So, and it's been taken short. Oh, that's a waste. Some poor passing here from our from our players. Probably me, to be honest. Like I say, I haven't played in a in a while. Oh. Beautiful. What a goal. That's that's a great ball in to be fair. Not a lot I can do about that. Glick. Try an overhead kick. To clear it. Acrobatic clearance. I do like that in a defender. So it's good to have. Got Carl running the channel that. There is Ronnie Lopez. Now his delivery is pretty good. Again, it's always all you know. Sometimes you can read the play, sort of know where they're going to play it before they actually play the ball. Like there, for example. So that just comes through experience. Oh, that's me being stupid. Yeah, thought he'd put for the one two. Ball down the line, Golovin. And play a century. That's what I said about Falcao. He's not really going to hold the play up all that well. The other teacher will be much better. He's got better ball control and uh, just better strength on the ball. Good defend there from Glick. This is the guy we need on the break. This is where the uh, counter attacking comes in very useful. Oh, Falcao, beautiful. You know, <laughs> didn't expect that to be honest from Falcao. He's not the player to really do this sort of stuff, but, uh, you know, I thought I'd try it. You don't, don't try these things. And you never know if it's going to come off or not. Could have played it safe, played it wide or whatever. I'm waiting for uh, players to get forward, but... There's that counter attacking instinct, so you have got that ability. Even though he's not the quickest, you've got players like Ronald Lopez who are quick, and Gelson Martins who are going to cause a threat from those wide areas. Uh, I just love that head of the touchline with that um, counter attacking. That's easy to click. 
a couple of those up all day all day long. Uh, they've had the back hill. For uh, Martins, really drove the defence. Oh. <laughs> Just trying to pull that um, PSG defence apart. Oh, look at this. Oh, almost. That's the thing with um, Falcao's really high. Um, Attacking press, always, always watch him because he will make with that attacking press. Any striker who's got attacking press, just keep an eye on him because they'll make some really good runs if you're if you. And then it's just about timing the pass into them. Sometimes you can just like hook it forward, hopefully. But I, pr I prefer to, um, I prefer to pick my passes as I see them rather than just try and force it so if you do see the striker making a really good run it's just about timing so he's not offside but also timing it so he's going to break through free now watch watch uh watch his run now he's just pulled back a little bit then he's gone forward see that that's what i'm talking about there's a pull ball in the end but The play. It's for this goes. side. This defense just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher so line. Sidibe in that I full fullback role. Behind. Just see him. Just uh, he's not he's not wide. He just tucks him. inside that winger, that winger position. Oh, you see the way Falcao pulled back there. He's looking for that drilled, uh, drilled low cross to be pulled back. That was unlucky. Okay, here we go. This is danger! Oh! Thought I did really well to defend that then. But great finish from uh, Angle Di Maria. Look at this. This is the, the threat though with um, the slow defenders. And they got around Jamison here. See there, they're not strong enough really from the defensive midfielder. Try to shove him off the ball. Try to reduce his chances of getting it on target, but it is Di Maria. He's world class. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, fuck out! Come on, dude! <laughs> Oh, fake shot, trying to super cancel, double tap inside. It's been a great game, to be fair. It's been a good game to watch. And to participate in. That's nice. Okay, we got far post. There we go. Oh, we have to go for the manual. Did not trust uh, Gelson Martin's ability to volley, but beautiful play. Love, love the switching of the the play there with the hug the touchdown. Those two wide wingers. Ah, oh, shame. We can get across the uh, goal. So here, I'm actually going to play it to. All right. Ah. Oh. 
Falcao. Oh no, he's got me there. Oof. Back on that, it was so safe and potentially a big moment for the keeper and this team. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, he just tucked back in, Fabregas. He was in a beautiful advanced position there, really stretching the stretching PSG there. Concentration level. Mbappe here. That's what I was talking about. Nah. No chance. <laughs> Commentate a bit later. Let's try and play this into Falcao. Nice and low. Look at him hold that up. Beautiful. Just hold that player off. Oh, he should have got ahead of his man there, really, but never mind. Doesn't matter too much. Oh, ah, yeah. <laughs> he didn't buy the fake shot. Edge of the box. If that was a player, a human player, they probably would. Oh, I love this. Love this. Oh, no. Just, just trying to piece it together. Look at this football. Oh. Ah, oh, it's upside. It's unfortunate. Okay, I'm gonna make some subs. I didn't realise Falcao was off form, but Young Patrick as well. Uh, just bring in Adrian Silva, and also Fabregas. Let's go, Chadley. I know he's more of a winger. Well, the stamina was called into question, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart. Have zero stamina on the field. That's what I was looking for. That's it. Have that. Have that. <laughs> Yeah, no chance. Been quite wasteful, to be fair. So we have a breakthrough. Oh, this is fully deserved for me. Just trying to hold on to the lead this time. Easier said than done, of course. It's a nice ball. Back inside. Little one two again. It's always a good idea to overplay it. Ah, oh, it pulls the players all over the place. If you overplay it against the AI. Seems like pointless passing, but you, you just draw their players out of position. Wait for the opening. Ah, that's it. Unfortunately, I wanted to play a little bit more because I've been really enjoying this game. There we are, ladies and gents. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your, what your thoughts are on those tactics. Um, I would say if you are doing a Master League, I would uh, look at buying a quicker central defender. Um, if you are going to play that higher line, like I like to play. Um, alternatively, you could go for a deeper defensive line. Um, but I just prefer to push up and really hurt the opposition. And we had loads of opportunities. I don't know how many opportunities I had in the end, but I felt like I was... Uh, I really, really competed really well with uh, PSG. There we are, ladies and gents. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.